Okay, got my table back up here on blocks. I'm gonna see how my cutout came out. It's a little small. But maybe if I wrap the fabric over, that'll go away. Now the other thing is, getting it to lay flat. Right, I've decided to celebrate this joint. And I think after I put the fabric on it, it'll be very, very uh, minimal. But, or even non-existent. What I'm gonna do is run some strips through here on, on the bottom side to make it level and then put, put some uh, pieces uh, basically every 22 and a half degrees so that it, it has, so that it registers. And then I'll be able to pull it down in four locations. I think that should be enough to uh, make it stable and level. I started clamping over here and worked my way around. And when I got to this portion of the, of the uh, center disc, those have set up enough that I could pull the clamps off and come and clamp here. But uh, I had enough spring clamps to uh, save one to do three quarters of the project. But like I said, by the time I, I got around, why I, was, I was fine pulling clamps off of those. So I'll let these set up. It's enough for one day anyway. Took the clamps off. Uh, everything looked good until I went to put the bolt through the hole. And my piece, that, the long piece I had running this way, uh, shifted on me. So this is the hole I want to keep. And I want to make sure I drill this nice and straight through. So I'm going to use my jig here to guide me straight up and down. That's not going to be long enough. All right, because that's going to be my locating hole. That is kind of critical. All right, I lost my zero somehow. I, I, I can't tell you how it happened, but I don't have it anymore. Uh, but the one thing about this insert is that it's got this potato chip effect you can see here. I've got my straight edge going across uh, the worst part, and it's probably uh, bordering on a half an inch. So I want to locate this, these two high edges or high points in opposite quadrants of my um, table clamps. So the where it is right now is not a good spot because this is the joint line right here so that's not good. So I've got to move this at least 22 and a half degrees. So I'm going to rotate it over here so that it's opposite this spot and that one over there. Like that. Now I came up with a method here of shimming it to get it back to zero with two credit cards and one business card. And that seems to do the trick. All right, I've got to get this flipped over. What I think I might do here is make a witness mark so that this goes back in the same way. Fill this and then drill a hole through the from the opposite side. I'm going to attempt to fill this hole with a hard maple dowel.
and some of the thick super glue. Now what I should do though is put some tape on the other side. Okay, I've got the tape in place. Now this is the thick stuff and it says it's gap filling. So I'm just going to put some in here. I'm going to spray this with the accelerator. And tap it home. Well, that's solid all the way across. You can't see it, it's clear, but there's that dark area there is filled. Flip it over and see what it looks like on the other side here. All right, back in the saddle. And I'm ready to flip this over. I'll, I'll, I'll lay it on the, these clamp here and see if I can re-drill that. Everything looks good as far as the shim goes. Yep, we're in good shape there. Now because I've got this attached with this piece of plywood, that gives me some added strength here. I'm not just relying on my uh, dowels and, and uh, um, table leaf hardware. So this, this, uh, this thing would, would come apart or break if there wasn't this piece in the middle. some weight to it. I don't want to have to do that very often. All right, I've got it uh, clamped in place and located with this pin. I'm going to use a brad point bit instead of a twist bit to make sure that this thing doesn't wander on me. I 
It's not going to be long enough. I'm going to go about an inch. Appears to be in good shape. That will be fabulous. Now the one thing I noticed when I had it flipped over was that where I had it located, these fell right on top of these. And that's another thing I don't want. I want them a bit off center. So I've got to rotate this. If I go back to zero, which is right there, you can see that is, I hope you can see that. lands squarely on that slide and I don't I don't want that I've got to be at least one over yeah like that so I took a little time to set this up I do uh, straight lines through the center pin here to my locations you can see if I had drilled on my location I would have been a little off um, inch and a quarter from the back or from the radius I should say I'm going to make a pencil mark on my fence here and I've got stops so that I've got three points of contact when I rotate this uh, I should be right on the money I hope so I'm just going to drill the um, first hole here I could drill and change bits for each one that way I know for sure that I'd land in that same spot but with that mark I think I'll be okay. So I'm going to stand over here. I know that it's not going anywhere. already made my four little small holes. I'm just using a regular wrench here since I have enough room to spin it around. I should just say a box open wrench. got it locked down again and that center pin is just uh, absolutely fabulous to have that. Just trying to find the right track for a punch here. There it is. So we'll give this a little love tap. 